Back to our weather alert now. We are in Fredericktown right now. Here's a live look at the scene where some of the heaviest damage has been already reported right now. You can see branches and parts of trees everywhere across the sidewalk and part of the roadway blocking some homes there. And meteorologist Jeff Booth is in. Jeff, some neighborhoods are seeing this. Yep. A lot of us saw some rain, mm -hmm. heard the thunder. Oh, yeah. It was a busy night. It was a very busy night. And actually, we got hit pretty hard out to the east of us, especially out to the northeast, too, as that line came through. The good news is it's pretty much cleared the state. So, we're Bye. Good. yeah, goodbye, exactly. <laughs> the bad news and is. Don't come back. <laughs> And the bad news is, what did it leave behind? Well, a lot of moisture. So we are going to be talking about a muggy one. Even though the worst of the weather is out of here, well, we're still going to feel the effects of all that just because, again, we have very muggy conditions out there as we start the day. And it's going to be very humid as we get on into the afternoon. Here's what we're looking at, though. You can see that line of storms tearing across the Buckeye State, moving pretty quickly as well. But as you can see, we have a little bit of rain that's redeveloping out in southern uh, Richland County. Could see a few storms out through Knox County, even Coshocton County. Uh, it does look like we could see a little bit of rain as this redevelops into the east of us. But uh, here right now we're looking pretty good. This line has actually cleared the state. Now it's moving on into West Virginia. But here's what we have with uh, with the aftermath. We have basically flash flood warnings that are in effect in the far north northeast and some flood advisories elsewhere. So watch out for that high water. If you're out and about driving, you see water of unknown depth. Turn around. Don't drown. That is the motto from the National Weather Service. And a lot of people don't realize that two feet of water fast moving can float most cars. So be very careful on that uh, front and you can see as we take a look out at weather alerts today we have excessive heat warnings in effect here in central Ohio also air quality alerts to talk about too we've been talking about those as well and take a look at your upcoming highs 95 today 97 tomorrow 94 on Thursday so the record today is 94 set back in 1994 if this holds we will be talking about a record record tomorrow is 96 set back in 1895 125 years ago if this holds we'll break that the record on Thursday is 96 we'll get close does not look like we'll quite get there and that's because we have a little rain rolling in by the end of the day to help cool us off so that's actually going to be a good thing we could see a few storms though that could be strong with it but at least we have a cool down on the way by the end of the week you can see too we're talking about temperatures up to 77 by 9 87 at lunchtime 89 at 1. We end up with a high again 95 uh, which would break a record that did not update. It's going to be hot and muggy with record heat possible and it looks like your hour by hour real fill temperature heat index value is going to be into the low in the mid 90s by the time we at lunchtime as we get on into the afternoon when we are at our hottest our heat index values are going to be at about 105 to 110 dangerously hot out there. Uh, avoid kind of any sort of extraneous activity. Uh, stay indoors if you can. If you don't have AC go to the mall go to the library, go to one of those cooling centers, uh, maybe go to a movie. Here's your hair dew point. If you with a dew point, wear it up today because it is going to be muggy out there. I don't have long hair anymore, but if I did, I'd be rocking the man bun this afternoon because it is going to be very steamy out there. Not the best of hair days. Watch out too for a little bit of that grass pollen. Ragweed starting to creep into the picture as well. Uh, we have low levels of tree pollen out there. Here's what it looks like hour by hour today. We'll be at about 77 by 9 o'clock. Lunchtime, we're talking about 87. Again, Heat index values, though, well into the 90s. We'll hit a high of 95, which would break a record. But again, our heat index values will be at about 105 to 110. So it is going to be steamy out there. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Water first for thirst. Mostly clear out there. A muggy night, 74. Back up to 97 again. Dangerous heat, record-breaking heat in the forecast again tomorrow. Here's a look at your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Maybe a little bit of rain off in the far east, northeast as we head through the morning, but we get some clearing into the afternoon. After that, it's just going to be hot, hot, hot. So we're in the 90s next couple of days. Uh, we have red today because of those excessive heat warnings, those air quality alerts. I would not be surprised if we get that tomorrow as well. So we may be changing that tomorrow uh, to red just because of uh, that heat that's on the way. But we're in the 90s next couple of days. Potential to break records today and tomorrow. 94 with some rain late on Thursday. And that rain coming with a cold front, it's not going to cool things off terribly much. Exactly. We're going to cool off uh, back closer to average as we head on through the weekend. But still, not in the 90s. That'll be nice. Not a bad weekend on tap. Summer officially starts on Tuesday, and we are going to be back in the 90s just in time for the start of summer by the end of the 10 days.